Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Helen D. Happy 2022. I don't even want to talk about the last two years. <laughs> uh, today is Tuesday, January 4th. Uh, I am back with a long overdue update. I, I think it's been three weeks. Um, we got through Christmas and school vacation, and I just had to wait for school to start back up again to have some quiet space in the house to do this. Um, so I thought I would do my regular update today because it's been so long and I have a bunch to share, and then I still need to film my whip parade. Um, that will get filmed this week too, is the plan. School is back in session. Um, I am mentally prepared for them to end up remote at some point. So I thought let's just, let's bust it out because who knows what's gonna happen. So I hope that everyone had a nice uh, Christmas or whatever holiday it is that you celebrate at the end of the year, if you even do, and a nice New Year's. Uh, it was very quiet here. Just three of us, both, both of those. Um, we had a nice quiet Christmas and a nice quiet new year. Um, it did snow on Christmas. So a lot of, there was a lot of snow blowing <laughs> that weekend. Um, that's it, yeah. So I'm just gonna jump in because I do have quite a bit. Although when I was gathering stuff up, I'm like, I had all this stuff to show, but I didn't have to gather much. I do have a couple videos to insert though, so. Uh, so last we met, it was still a couple weeks before Christmas. There's nothing like the end of the year to light a fire under my butt to get things done. So I was FFOing. I was trying to finish up some whips. <laughs> um, I just tried to get a lot of stuff done. So I have quite a bit. Uh, let's start with fully finishes. So I have two in front of me and then the others are the videos. So I think right after I had my last video and the tree was up and my son, my son said, is the shopping penguin on the tree? And the shopping penguin was not on the tree. So I fully finished my two ornaments from Prairie Schoolers 2x2-2. Two two, two. Well, I'll show you the normal one first. So these are the flamingos. And I just, they have a little hanger. I had a green that matched. I did a flat finish. Um, there's some batting on the front one, not on the back, and then I used the cording to kind of cover the gap. And I glued, I glued the cording on, and then charm on the top. I did put the nail polish, the clear nail polish on this, and when I took my tree down, I took all of my ornaments, um, and I very carefully like popped it up so it wasn't touching anything and I put clear nail polish on all of my year charms, all of my charms. If they had a charm on it, it got some nail polish. So hopefully that will keep, I had a tarnishing problem. So hopefully that will keep the tarnishing <laughs> to a minimum. Um, and I let them all dry thoroughly and then I boxed them up. So these are the flamingos. The penguins should have had two and I know I said this in a, previous video. Uh, when I had this one done, my son teased me that this was the shopping penguin, which is from a song that he likes. So he's got his fish bag and he's shopping and he's just one penguin and he has the same. So these two are done. I used different greens, so I had used different hangers. Doesn't matter, they don't stand next to each other on the tree. Um, so those are done. Uh, what else? I finished, and this was actually before then, um, I have two videos, so I finished all of my gifts that went out, and I had three, I believe. I filmed this video so long ago, I don't even remember. I think I have three that you hadn't seen, and I made a little video when I fully finished those that I will insert, and then I also finished um, this weekend, I had stitched some more um, video game pieces for the nerd wall that just had been sitting, 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 <laughs> and we bought a new uh, a picture ledge for the nerd wall and we redid the nerd wall. So I had to get those done. So I fully finished those tradition store bought frames. Um, so I'm just instead of pulling them off because we finally got everything to like be even. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna take a new video of the nerd wall and I will insert both of those here. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you a couple of ornaments that I made, the secret stitching that I had been working on before I wrap them up to mail out. Um, this one is going to Carla at Cobweb Corner. Um, this is the Candy Cane Wishes berry chart um, from Erica Michaels, but I stitched it, this is on 25 count, and I just kind of squared it off. And I had this fun um, fabric that I put on the back and a charm. Oh, and Carla, look, you get a cat hair. That's a little bonus. That's, that's for Bo. Um, so I have that one. This is for my friend Kathy, who we did a swap with our my local stitcher group, and I drew Kathy's name. <clears throat> um, this is a Barbara Anna chart, and I believe it's just called Merry Christmas. I've stitched it for myself and framed it, and then I made it into a pillow. I put a button and a little charm, and I used the same fabric on the back. You get a cat hair too. Okay, here's for everybody. <laughs> um, so there's that one. This is the one I'm ending up sending to my mom. Um, I actually used this when I did the beaded edge tutorial. And I thought, I think I had mentioned that I'd stitched her a berry and thought, mm, I'm not sure what she's going to do with that. So she's getting this ornament instead. I ended up, because when I did the beads, the cording... I had attached like with a jump ring, but it was kind of wonky and wobbly. So I attached it with a snowflake button just to give it a little more support so she can hang it. This is a heart and hand chart, one of their merry making minis. And then the last one, pardon, pardon the mess over here. Um, this is for my sister. This is Chris, Chris Moose Berry, I believe. Um, from Erica Michaels. I stitched it on the gray petty point. Whoops, it's hard to do this with one hand. Um, so there's my mousse. And then I did all the layers on the top. I have a brown and a green and a red and some just another button company pins. Now I need to stitch this again for myself. Donnie, you will get this one even though I kind of want to keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. Here is the new and improved uh, nerd wall. This is my sampler wall. <laughs> Some people have a bunch of samplers. I have a bunch of video game cross stitches. I don't even video game, <laughs> but here they are. Uh, I will put a list below of the different designers. There's my gamer from Pick Stitch. That's the one I did this year. Those Final Fantasies underneath are the ones I just framed. This one you can't see very well because it is super sunny in here. Uh, and then we've got a shelf. My husband designed that little chocobo one. My mom made these little characters um, for my son for Christmas. So, the nerd wall. I am planning, I have one more large piece, uh, the Zelda one on the green fabric. Once I get the other one done, it will go there. And then the Zelda one, this is like a little corner, will go on this wall. By my very messy, messy <laughs> stitching space. I laugh at the nerd wall the I don't video game is by MySpace. But that was the best wall for it. So excited that it's finally all video game stitches. Um, so finished objects, like I said, I was trying to just bust some things out. So I finished a couple of kind of holiday pieces before Christmas and then in that week after Christmas, um, I finished a couple others. So I have one, I have four fully finished. Actually five, because one I hadn't shown you. Um, I had forgotten to bring this one down. This is my version of Hands On Designs um, cookie exchange. I used a 32 count, I think it's called Mint Splash Lugana. I filled in the cookies, they have some beads on them. 
and I extended the table so that it was symmetrical and um, I think I had to add this little line. So that one will be fully finished next year. Okay, so the ones I got done this time, first the biggie. I had been working away on Jingles by Lizzie Kate and I had a few left and I just stuck with it and got them done. So Jingles is done. Uh, not ironed, obviously, and the beads aren't on yet. So I did all of them together with the free border that you can get on the Lizzie Kate website, which is still there, by the way. I know they don't publish anymore, but it's still there right down to the bottom. So this is stitched on 16 count Picture This Plus Crystal Pansy. So it's a opalescent purple. And the white shows up pretty good in person too. So this one, add the buttons. Done, off the list. So then it was like, what else can I get off the list? I love getting things off the list. So I had another, I had two more kind of Christmassy pieces that I had started last year. This is Plum Pudding from With a Needle and Thread. I tweaked the colors a little bit. Um, I know I used Classic Colorworks Holly Berry and this is a gentle, uh, not a gentle art, color and cotton um, clover, I believe. And I left off the border. It has a really nice border and I love the fact that it's a border that kind of stops at their tails and goes around. But I thought that border whip might make it a little difficult to finish because you'd have to really get it straight. And with the border off, um, future Helen will thank me when I don't have to worry so much about straight lines. So that one is done. This one is on 28 count Springfield Sage Lugana, I believe. I think. Next up, is Heaven and Nature Sing. This is by Barbie of Petal Pusher. This was one of her, um, she released this in, at Galleria in September. Um, I used all the call for colors because I loved them. They're all, it's getting, my lead is right there. They're like blues. This color here on the bottom is a very, very, very pale green. But when you stitch it, it looks like tan almost, which is so funny because like it's the owl and he doesn't look green and the moose antlers, like um, 16 count charcoal on the, not charcoal, chalkboard on that one. Then I was still going, it wasn't New Year's yet. And I finished one more ongoing whip, which was Pretty Little Amsterdam by Satsuma Street. This one I stitched on 14 count Ariel by Picture This Plus. I had this one all but this windmill, the cloud and the sun the last time I stitched it. So I knew it was pretty close. Um, and it really only needed like one more. I just got a little bored of it the last time, so I put it away. So this one I started in January of 2021 and I will not be carrying it over, so yay. So that one is done. I have a set of, this is the third city that I've done. Uh, I've done DC, Paris, and Amsterdam. I have, I bought six of her cities and they're all ones that I've been to. So I have New York, Italy, and London left to go. And I'd like to display them all together. So I bought I have six frames and I had gotten, it was a standard frame at AC Moore, but when AC Moore went out of business, <laughs> I went in there and made sure I had six frames. Um, so I'm all good to go with that. I have six frames. <clears throat> I wanna say I have six pieces of foam core cut cause I had it, there's a picture framer in town called the picture framer. Um, I had him cut me a piece and while I was in there, I think I just had them cut all of them and the spacers. I know I have at least one set of spacers. Maybe I didn't, maybe I only had them cut three. Past Helen was not really thinking because she should have had them cut all six. So those are all of my 
finished objects. I have them in, I put them in my bag, <laughs> my, my old man sailor bag. This is from Quilting with Nico. I love this bag, cracks me up. And it has a handle. I just ordered another bag from her. She has some really, really cute wintry fabric and she made one for me. Um, it's in the mail, you'll see that next time. Whips, um, so I've, I'm still going. I told you I had lots and lots because it's been so long. Um, let's see, I had to start a new, I didn't have to, I chose to start a new car project. Um, I I had the little Brenda Gervais ones in there and I'm still gonna plug away on those. Actually, they're still in the car because I haven't taken them out, but if, I figured if I wanted some Valentine stuff done by Valentine, I needed to get cracking. So these are love notes. This is one of the, um, with I needle, the little sets that she released last year. Uh, they stitch up, at least the ones I've done so far, so quick. So I already have one done. I think this is right side up. Um, the white doesn't show up spectacular on this. This is, it's that one I can never remember for the life of me. French Cafe, French. Oh, you guys, every time I use this fabric, I can't think of the name. Country French Cafe Mocha, I think. Country French Cafe Mocha, maybe. That one is done, and then I'm working on the hearts. This is one of the needle miners my sister got me for Christmas. And the hearts, there's like two more on this side, so it's they're small. I'm using, I pulled the, I pulled the DMC, um, but then I'm like, you know what, there's just like two colors, I'm gonna use something fun. So I'm using two color and cotton flosses, um, vintage, vintage Valentine is the light pink, and then I picked out Old Santa, which is like a redder, and I think I'll use that one, especially like in these. I think my plan is to do, this one I don't care for as much. So I've done this one, this one, and then I, I love to do these. I love to do these two. These two, because of like the white birds and the wings, I'll need to find a darker fabric. This one, obviously, the hearts, I didn't do in white because it didn't show up. So I'm doing all the white hearts in pink, and then I'll do the red heart in the other red. Um, and that's what I've been working on in the car during tennis. So that needs to not get lost, because tennis tonight. Okay, I also pulled out, I didn't have any more whips close enough to a finish. So I pulled out like my winter whips that I'd really like to get done. Um, and I'm not gonna take this one out because it's kind of, I'm still going. <laughs> uh, this is Winter Wonderland by Blackbird. Unfortunately, this is an out of print chart, but fingers crossed, crossed, crossed that it gets re-released. So I changed the colors. This is the original. And um, mine is bluer. <laughs> <laughs> not a red girl, I'm a blue girl. So uh, I've been working on this house. I finished the windows, I've got it almost filled in. I finished the roof, I finished the chimney, and I think this bird, that's just a goose neck because it cut into the white and I didn't want to go over it. So I'm filling in the house and then I really just have to bring the border, I think the border's like here. So I have to bring the border down and do this side and give the goose a body. So I still have like a third, but all you people that are big house people, I don't know how you do it. I like the way it looks when it's done, but that is a lot of house. So that one, been working on. Uh, these aren't in order, obviously, because this one is my new year new start. Um, This is, my new year new start was the Fox. Sorry, I had to, it's the Fox by Cottage Garden. My sister got me this chart for Christmas. <clears throat> I love this chart, a lot of people are doing it. 
the chart itself, like the paper itself. Um, so here's the, like, here's the front and the back, right? It's just on the other side <laughs> and it's very flimsy. So I had to put it in a, like a paper holder thing in order to get it to not just be destroyed and to stand up when I'm holding it. Um, which way's up? That's my start. I think it's right side up. So I'm using 16 count Mirage by Picture This Plus. That's the call for it. I happen to have a piece. So it needs a good iron. Um, I'm using, am I using the call for? No. I'm using a mix of a couple of the called floors. I had a Victorian motto that was the same, like she used to put, I haven't bought her floss in ages, but she would put the DMC conversion and it was the same kind of conversion color as the DMC used. I am using the burnt orange. And then for the greens, for the trees, I was gonna use these two color and cottons. I'm tempted to take out the little cabin and put more trees. We'll see how my brain is feeling at that point. And then also in this bag, my sister also got me for Christmas um, a couple of these Bitsy Keeps. The little Bitsy things from that So Kelly Co. And my floss isn't falling off there. So I'm giving these a try. Um, I've had one, Penny at the Daily Stitcher has one um, with like her logo and stuff on it that she had given me a while ago. So I have like three of these now. So I thought, well, this one is colors that I can obviously tell apart if I put them on there. So I'm giving that a try in my bag. And then the other whip, last whip, uh, I don't have a color, a cover page. I don't have a picture of this one. Um, I just loosened it major on here. So right after Christmas, when I realized I didn't have any whips that were close enough to even remotely getting done, I thought, man, let's just add a new start. Why not? Actually, I started this one and the Valentine ones on the same day. Um, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. In fall of 2020, I popped into my Goodwill and I found five of the Nora Corbett Christmas Courier Reindeer, the charts and their bead packs for $2.50 each. Actually, they were $5 each, but it was half price day on those. <laughs> so um, I snatched them up. So I'm working away at those. I have two done. This year I got two done and then I thought I really need to work on another one. So I pulled out, I did Dasher and Dancer and this is Prancer. Um, and it's coming right along. I started this a week ago and it's, it's been my focus. I'll put a little bit in on the house. Um, I started the Fox, but this one has been what I'm focused on. This is on 16 count Haven from Picture This Plus. I believe this is a discontinued color because last year or in 2020, the dyers were having a hard time getting the blue for these. Um, so there is Prancer. I am using, the calls for that whisper thread for the tails. This stuff is terrible. So I'm just using white. Um, but other than that, it's all the called for. It's mostly DMC. There's a little water lilies, I believe, the silks, and like a thousand things of Krynik. Oh, all that snow was Krynik. And I'm working away on it, and I was like, you know what? You could have done this just a half stitch, and it would have been fine. But this is the third one, and you didn't do it that way on the other two, so now I'm stuck. <laughs> so that one I'm probably going to just keep working away on until it's done. Those are all my whips. It's a lot, but it's three weeks. And end of the year, fire butt. Get things done. So, a couple of thank yous, a couple of gifts. Um, I've had a few people that have 
charts that they're like, I'm done with these charts. I'm going to send them in for you to use for a giveaway. So we'll have some extra giveaways um, this coming year. Actually, this is my 98th floss tube, which blows my mind. So uh, at 100, I should throw some extra things in. We have cobweb corner giveaways today too. Uh, so thank you for those. Um, Sarah reached out and said she had some Ada that she knew she wasn't going to use and if she could send it. So she did. And it was this giant box, like way more than I was expecting. Uh, and they were all like really nice neutrals and like big pieces. So those would be fantastic, Sarah. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't bring them down. They're already actually put away. Um, but they were definitely, definitely get used. And then Cookie had reached out and said that she wanted to send me something for the holiday. Um, look how cute this is. What a great idea. So it's, it's a piece of stitching. I believe she said in the card it was from a, like a just cross stitch magazine. And she turned it into the cutest little snowman. It's got a hanger, um, so I could put it on the tree, but I'm gonna leave it down here with my stuff, my Christmas stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're batteries running low, which I just charged this, so I don't know why. So we're gonna crank through the rest. Um, haul and giveaways. Giveaways are on top, so we'll do those first. These were from Carla at Cobbook Corner, who's always so generous. She's been having a bunch of year-end sales. Um, definitely worth checking out. I don't know if those sales are done. <laughs> you never know. She pops them up all the time. So, Hello Spring from Cottage Garden goes to Chris R. And the, pin, the bird cage stand-up pin keep. Holly Hogue, H-O-G-U-E. Uh, I commented on both your comments, so get back to me and I will get those out to you. This week, also from Carla, a cobweb corner, we're doing hands-on design, Hello Spring. If you'd like to be entered in the giveaways, uh, you have to be 18, so you can legally give me your address. I'd appreciate it if you're a subscriber. Go check out Carla's channel, subscribe to her as well, uh, and please don't say giveaway. If you'd like to stitch this one, say Daisy. And secondly, Oodles of Spring. This is a Bent Creek. I've stitched this one. It's adorable. Uh, it has the little, there's a star charm right there that comes with it, a button. Uh, if you'd like to this, stitch this one, say Gnome, because he's my favorite. <laughs> so Daisy and Gnome for this week. Um, Carla sends some charts for me as well to stitch, uh, and I like to show you them so you guys know what else she has. So I chose this one, which really should go right in my Valentine bag. <laughs> Put that over there. And then Bent Creek just released Oodles of Summer. So I grabbed this one for myself. Um, and then haul purchases. I was, I was pretty good. I needed a thing of stitchery tape, which I get from 123 Stitch, and I threw Reindeer Games in that order. This has the drum, the chart, and the berry. And then, what's this group? There's a group on Facebook, Homespun. I'm sure most of you know of it by now because they do um, a lot of, where's my groups page? They do a lot of exclusives. Um, homes, homespun, homespun needlework. I, I usually don't get them, but this one I did. So I splurged on the new exclusive, which is called Winter Comes. It's by Heartstring Samplery. It's a kit in right now, or it was being sold through Acorns and Threads. So it's both charts, which the black one is this with a verse. I love the border. Um, and it came with a corner gauge, some stickers, all the floss. I chose the Ada. I will not use that Ada. Um, nothing against the Ada. I just don't think it's the right color. This one is like a pinky-ish. And that's what I really liked. So I'm weighing my fabric options and I'll use the Seda for something else. That's it. Before this battery runs out. Um, I am going to film Whip Parade. Thank you for all the comments on my Christmas decorations. Wish you guys could have come and put them away. 
<laughs> I did that yesterday. Yesterday was groceries and all that and a little picking up and putting away all the Christmas things and pulling out the winter things, realizing I don't have a lot of winter things. <laughs> um, but it got done. So whip parade is coming. I hope you're all having a decent start to the new year and found lots of stitchy time over the holidays and I've loved seeing everyone else's New Year's use new starts. Um, I've been watching whip parades till the cows come home and I love it. And I love it even if it's a piece that's totally different than what I stitched, right? Like you wanna stitch all full coverage? Great, I'm there for it. You wanna stitch all samplers? They're not my thing, but I love seeing them. <laughs> so they've all been fun. Uh, I will go get this uploaded and get things put away and recharge the camera. <laughs> Thank you guys, bye.